Good morning, everybody. Danny Stories here coming to you live from this mobile podcast studio in Toronto, Canada. Check this out. The cold is coming back. After, what's his name? In uh, the Groundhog. Over here, it's called... um, I forgot the guy's name. We have a Groundhog here in Canada. There's an American version of the Groundhog. Oh, our Groundhog in Canada is called Wyerton Willie. All right. In the United States, it's called Poxatami. I don't know. Poxatami Bill. I don't know the guy's name. Because, listen, I'm even surprised. I know it starts with a P. Poxatami or something. But we got our guy, Wyerton Willie. Let me tell you something about Wyerton Willie. It's a lot tougher than Poxatami. Because get your pox of Tommy and our Wyerton, guess what? Our Wyerton, he grew up in the cold, cold north. You know, he'd be chilling all winter and he pops his head out and he'd have tons of people waiting for the good news or the bad news. It didn't bother him. He just chilled out. He chilled out, hibernating, doing whatever it took. And then all these people would come out and gather around him and he'll pop out and he'll be like, listen, spring's coming soon or give the bad news of listen the winter is staying around a bit longer you know he's up there with delivering bad news like when doctors got to give bad news to families it's like that so the weather started to change up here in toronto we had a few good sunny sunny days it took away sorry i have a vitamin c candy in my mouth don't mind me i take vitamin c every day on top of a few other vitamins important ones anyways for men and women and whatever children Okay, I'm almost done. Sorry, I never like when people eat too much on camera with that. I'm not a big fan of loud eaters. Okay, I'm done. So, um, you know, we had great, great weather up here. Sunny. My uh, seasonal, um, you know, depressions were slowly starting to go away. I'm a person that sometimes when the weather is dark and gray for too long, I don't get depressed where I'm like thinking about bad things, but you just feel a little bit down sometimes, right? It's normal, we're humans. If you don't feel down ever, you're high on drugs. And I'm not making fun of drug addicts, you guys know where I come from. But uh, if you just don't give a shit, then you might be high all the time. Especially uh, opiates, they really keep you not giving a shit about anything but the next hit, you know what I'm saying? So, the weather, it's cool this morning but my main story today is about my coffee machine so when my uh one of my best friends chose me and my wife to be the godparents of his uh beautiful daughter my goddaughter my first official goddaughter so i'm pretty much michael corleone level i would say more Vito, because i'm more of like a Vito corleone i'd like to say I like the, i like to sit in the garden with an orange I don't want to die in the garden. But what I'm saying is that I think I'm old school like Vito Corleone. Michael, he allowed his daughter a little bit to date the cousin. I find it a little bit weird. What are we? What's going on here? First cousins, that's dangerous. But listen to this. They gave us an espresso machine. Portuguese traditions during the baptism, you buy your God kid, the kid that's getting baptized, you buy gifts, money, gold, whatever. Usually it's gold and money, okay? Necklace, bracelets, rings, it doesn't matter. It's golden money. So we did that. But while we're at this beautiful restaurant, they presented us with this nice big box. Like what? They got us maybe, you know, some little, like a candle, some candlesticks, or maybe like a, a vase or something. I opened it up and I almost fainted. A beautiful coffee machine. A Gadja Del- Anima Deluxe which is, it's a pretty good coffee machine. It's not like the number one coffee machine in the universe, but for me, beautiful. I appreciate the things I have. I didn't even want to accept it. I was like, what are you guys doing? I feel, I'm a person that feels weird when someone gives me gifts. I feel weird when someone buys me lunch. If you were to invite me for lunch, the first thing that comes out of my mouth, first of all, I'm going to try and pay. Not because I'm a sucker, because that's the way I was brought up. If you invite someone for lunch, you usually pay. If someone pays for you, you know, I put up a stink and then I'm like, I'm not one of those annoying guys. I'm not going to fist fight you at the table. But listen, I'm going to tell you straight up, okay, you're paying this time because I don't want to make a scene, but next time I'm paying. And then we'll start a tradition like that. So I'm like, hey, what are you guys doing? Come on, you don't buy us a gift. I didn't know. 
I grew up with Italians, but I was never a godfather or godmother to a, an Italian kid. Oh. But anyways, I opened the gift. It was absolutely, we opened the gift. We look, oh my God, this thing makes amazing espresso. I might have put a couple of shorts about it. Then throughout time, and I always kept up the regular maintenance. This thing tells you when it's maintenance time. It's, it's high tech. It would tell me when it's maintenance time. You put these uh, special things in the water tank and it, through the system, it shoots up this, it's natural. It's not anything, no chemicals. Cause you, the chemicals will ruin the taste of the coffee. It's a natural cleaning thing that takes away the calcium. There's a lot of calcium buildup inside of it. And then in the little spot before the coffee comes out of the two little holes, there's like a little uh, re reserve, like a little, uh, little hangout section for the coffee. That thing fills up with coffee and then it drips down. One of the main problems with the gadget is that gets clogged up sometimes. So, one day I had a problem with the machine. My friend's mother, which she knows a lot about those machines, she explained to me step by step how to get rid of that problem. It was with the grinder, the power would shut off. I think that was some kind of a safety thing so the, the power to, in the grinder doesn't burn out because it grinds its own beans before the, the coffee gets started, right? So it grinds its own beans in the machine. So you put the, the, the whole beans in. So she explained to me, she asked me exactly what, what setting I had, this, this, and this. Boom, she got it working. But it's still, the coffee was only coming out very weak and one spout was dripping, one little spout and the other one was coming up, but it wasn't good. Something was wrong. So I'm freaking out, I contact Gadja, they do nothing. They're like, ah, oh, we're the commercial sector. We do, you know, you gotta do this, this, and this. Guys, you don't hear from anybody. To get some help, I didn't even wasn't even trying to get, you know, trying to tell them to send me a new machine, nothing like that. I just want to drink a coffee. I'll get it fixed myself. Like, I'm not rich, but I'll tell you something. I'll pay to get my coffee machine fixed. Nothing, nobody helps nothing with nobody. I watched all the YouTube videos. Some were helpful, but none of them were as helpful as this one gentleman. I don't know the name of the channel right now. I uh, did a community post of the link that helped me make whatever, helped me fix my machine. This gentleman with the exact coffee machine disassembled his whole coffee machine explaining the insides of the machine and where possible problems that happen on the machine and the problem that I had was one of the main problems that he talks about and then he puts it back together. It's about an hour video. Guess what? I did what he said. I took apart that bad boy in my kitchen table, put it back together, pressed the button, coffee came out. You got to make a few coffees before it comes out perfect. That machine hasn't been going for a while. Boom, boom, boom. I did about five, six coffees, you know, dump them down the sink. The first one came out shitty. Now, this morning, it was a piece of art. Now, I got the beans still. I'm very picky. I want my beans to be fresh. I've had the same beans. When I get the beans out of the bag, I put them in a jar and I seal it. You can get that seal, that thing airtight. I don't know if the beans are as fresh as they should be, but they're not bad. But that coffee was absolutely amazing. It was magn magnifico or magnificent or it's just a piece of art and I'm so happy. I left the guy a comment. He uh, liked it with a heart, you know. I never understood people that when you leave them a nice full comment, they just give you a heart. Like you're so busy, you can't even just say thank you anytime. I'm glad my video worked. Some people just give you a heart and that's cool, whatever. I know everybody's in a rush. I'm just, I guess I'm just more uh, personable with people. I'm more of a one-on-one -on -one kind of guy. Anyways, that's my story. It might not be a, a fancy story. I know people like to hear crazy stories. This is my story. I know a lot of you guys like coffee, but let me tell you something. YouTube this year, and last year, whatever, helped me fix my snowblower, and now it helped me fix my coffee machine. I saved right now about 200 bucks fixing the snowblower, and let's just say I'm gonna guess it'd be around the same to fix my coffee machine. That's an expensive machine from what I saw. So about 500, 400 bucks, let's say, I saved on fixing things myself, watching videos on YouTube. You know, you really learn a lot about yourself when you just take your time, pay attention. You can fix things. Next, guess what? We have one of those nice mixers because my wife and her mother, when she comes, they like to make bread. They like to make cakes sometimes and they do fun things. I don't know what kind of mixer it is, a KitchenAid or something. It's a very heavy duty mixer. It's beautiful, but guess what? 
that's on the fritz now so guess my new project i'm gonna watch videos on how to do that machine i might have to buy something new some parts i don't know but i kind of like that i kind of like fixing things now next thing i gotta fix is my youtube channel because i can barely get any views but i blame myself i don't do enough videos i don't do enough everything gotta be more like guys like tommy Stiggs. He has the, the videos, he has his own, the bullet points, the edits. He knows how to do it. He puts on shorts. Lee Cole, another one, he's always putting on videos. A lot of people putting out steady videos, steady videos, steady videos. And I think that's how you get it right on the algorithm. But yeah, anyways, guys, that's all I wanted to say. Watch a video. When you don't know how to do something, watch a video. Your weed whacker breaks, watch a video. Your, uh, your kid says a bad word at school and gets suspended, maybe watch a video that'll teach you what words to say i don't know back in the day i'd get a little whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. not too bad though just enough to teach me a lesson but yeah youtube can teach you videos not just youtube any uh website or app that teaches pay attention learn your mind should always be learning and taking in information don't be a dope take in information bring it all in but don't be a scumbag don't be a scammer don't abuse friendships don't use people that's another thing don't 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 be a scumbag and buy somebody lunch once in a while don't be a cheapskate if somebody's doing a lot for you give back give back don't be a scumbag i used to know guys when i used to hang out in the neighborhood bar that were mooches in my neighborhood a mooch is a word of somebody that is a mooch like wants free things takes advantage you know i knew a guy once we're, i'll tell you a quick story we were playing a drinking game we were at the bar we we're young having fun chilling the neighborhood bar not no fancy nightclub we're in jeans and t-shirts having a great old time this is like our home so we're all chilling around the bar talking watching sports and every time it was time to get around everybody would put a finger out out of the five fingers in your hand or four fingers one thumb you put out a finger everybody that was in on the game you count the total of all the fingers put out and then you're in a circle and you count so say the number was 28 fingers or 30 you count around the people one two three you count the number the number it lines on for the amount you're buying the round i forgot the name of that game it was a fun game so we had one mooch uh, this guy's a mooch his name was frank i'll say his name it doesn't matter he was a mooch and he was watching us play, drinking by himself at the side of the bar. He was a kind of like a hang around guy, always trying to get a free drink, you know. But when he never buy nobody a drink back, or if he did, it would be on the sly. It was a, you know, I know he had money, he worked construction. So we were, I think somebody announced, all right, guys, the last round, or last couple of rounds, or whatever. So Frank's like, okay, I'm in, I'm in. This guy's trying to mooch a drink, right? Trying to mooch a drink. Because odds are, you don't have to pay. Because, you know, it's a, a lot of guys, da da da, the number. Long story short, it landed on him. He was so upset, but we were so happy. Because Frank the Mooch got his karma. Don't be a mooch. Buy your friends dinner. It's not always about receiving, begging. Yeah, give me, give me my birthday, my anniversary, my wife's birthday, my dog's birthday. I fell down the stairs. Uh, I can't get my dick up. Everybody has something, right? Everybody has something. But try and give back once in a while. Never mind always. It's so, it's, a, it's me, it's me. Money, money. Guys, listen. Give back. Be a good human being. Be a stand-up guy. This whole the money shit, especially on YouTube. Anybody that like begs to me, it's not stand up. It's it's a little bit uh weak. It's weak character trait. Yeah, everybody's trying to make money, but the begging, you know, remind people once or twice. But to beg and birthdays and bullshit, I'm not a big fan of that. I don't respect it. But maybe I'm jealous because I make zero money over here. But it's okay. Maybe I'm gonna watch a YouTube video how to get better on YouTube. All right, everybody, have a great day.